I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and if you've got yourself a new Nespresso Virtuo Next machine by DeLonghi, you know these special coffee pods have a barcode on them that your machine reads, and that the drinks are all pre-programmed to come out a certain way. But what if that's not quite working for you? Let's make this our little secret, but you can actually adjust the drink size or water volume on the spot, and you can even reprogram your machine to read these barcodes the way you want it to. Here's how to adjust drink sizes and drink volume on the Nespresso Virtuo Next by DeLonghi. And really heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please mash that like button and consider becoming a subscriber, because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's say you decide at the last second to change your drink size, or you didn't choose a big enough cup and you want to stop it while the drink's already being made. If you do need to stop the flow of water early, you can press the one and only button on top again, and it'll shut down with a bit of delay. Similarly, you can top up a coffee by pushing the button after the coffee is finished, then pushing it again when you want the water to stop. You can also permanently change the water volume and save it as a new preset. The drink size of each pod is specific to each capsule type, and that's dictated by that special barcode on the pod. There's Alto, Mug, Gran Luongo, Double Espresso, or Espresso. But you can alter this too on your machine if you want, and the machine will store it as a new saved preference. To make a permanent change to a coffee size, open the machine head and insert the capsule you want to program. Close the head and lock the machine, then wait. The light's going to blink while the machine is heating up, and the steady light means the machine is ready. Push and hold the button until your desired coffee volume is reached, and you might be holding on here for a bit. Now, once a user-specific volume is programmed into the machine, every time that capsule type is inserted into the machine, the amount's going to stop at exactly the level you want. Need to reset everything back to day one or otherwise do a factory reset? Open the machine head and let it eject the used capsule. Then close the head, but leave the handle in the unlocked position. Push that main button five times within three seconds. You'll see the button start to blink orange about five times, and then it's going to change to steady white. That's how you'll know you're back to original settings. Okay, that's how to get your Nespresso Virtuo Next by DeLonghi working for you. Now you're not stuck with the set sizes. You can reprogram your machine if you want so you always get the drink you want. If you want to read this topic or reference any of what I've talked about, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up posted. You can ask me any questions you have about this machine also there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. Did this video help you? If so, please mash that like button and consider becoming a subscriber because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next time, you can catch me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.